Okay, in this example, the following plot is uh, related to the data obtained from the experiment of uh, determination of total uh, tool life equation for certain cutting tool material. Okay, the based on the above plot, determine the tool life equation. Tell us tool life equation for the cutting tool material. Okay, then this is the plot given. In this axis, axis cutting speed. How the cutting speed varies in uh, actually this graph is given in a natural logarithmic values and also the natural logarithmic scale the tool life in this axis the tool life in a natural logarithmic uh, value here it is the cutting speed in natural logarithmic values okay go to the natural logarithmic scale so let me explain the theory behind this uh, plot and the uh, Taylor's tool life equation. When discussing the theory classes, we discuss the uh, Taylor's tool life equation as uh, V T n is equal C. V T n is equal C. V mean the cutting speed. The T mean the total uh, tool life. The total tool life mean uh, life uh, machining time in between the two regrinds. Okay, here it is a, a regrind. Here it is a regrind. The time in between these two regrind is called the tool life. This is called tool life. This is called tool life. This tool life, how it is varied with the velocity is given by this Taylor's tool life equation. The C is a constant. C is the co constant. That constant is equal to uh, the tool life the there is equal actually the t is a t is equal what happen a t is equal one minute t is equal one minute the v is equal c in this way we can define the c what is c the velocity Uh, cutting speed, cutting speed which gives one minute tool life. The C we can define in this in that way. What is C? C is a velocity which gives one minute tool life for the cutting tool. Okay, C is a velocity. C is a velocity which gives one minute tool life for the cutting tool. C C uh, depend on the various various uh, machine parameters. C have to determine experimentally. It depends on the various uh, machine parameters, especially the cutting tool material, uh, workpiece material, uh, cutting, uh, a type of uh, cut we are doing, and also the condition of the workpiece, and also the uh, depth of cut, feed rate, the performance of the machine tool. The C is depend on the various parameters. So we have to determine the C using the experimental procedures. Okay, so then, uh, then the end also a constant that is also basically depend on the uh, type of cut we are producing and also the cutting tool material. Then this is the equation, this is the equation we are getting for the uh, tool life equation. If you plot this uh, T versus uh, N, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. V against the T. We are getting this kind of graph, the T and the V. For this plot, we are getting this kind of graph. For this kind of graph, that means uh, let's take this is uh, V4. Yeah, let me take the one. V4. Then this is uh, T1. Then the V. T1 into V4 into T1 in, uh, T1 n is equal to C. Again, at the same time, let's take this is the T4, the V1, V1 T4 n is equal to C. See the curve uh, T against V. T against V. 
Then what happens if we take the logarithmic value? Logarithmic value. Okay. Logarithmic value. Uh, log value or logarithmic value you can take. V T n is equal to C. So I am going to take the ln for the both side. V T n ln C. So what happens? ln v plus ln t into n is equal ln c okay so then uh, ln v plus so we can take in front ln t is equal ln c by making uh, ln v into subject ln v into subject ln v is equal ln v is equal uh, minus n ln t plus ln c we are getting this kind of graph what is this graph okay. that graph is equal in this axis uh, ln uh, T. This is uh, ln v. What is this curve like? Is uh, simply like a uh, linear curve, no? This is y is equal minus m x plus c type, no? Minus x plus. So that means uh, x is equal to zero. That is equal to c. Ln c. It having this kind of curve. Yes. It is equal to ln c at this point. This is the uh, logarithmic gra graph we are obtaining for this equation. So then, uh, in this problem, that is given in the tool life, not a logarithmic value. But here the logarithmic scale issues. So let me explain that one also. I think uh, you may not uh, be with that one. Yeah, first year level. For this. Uh, Developing this graph, you can take the logarithmic and also the log value also. Okay, log to the power of ten. You can also you can take. So then, let me explain that uh, graph scale also. So what happen if you take the t n is equal c? So I am going to take the log ten to the power of uh, log value, log ten. So then uh, log v plus log uh, 10 into t plus log c we are getting okay so then what is the log t log t for example uh, t is equal 10 what happened log here the base is 10 10 to the power of 10 that is equal to 1 log 10 to the power of 100 if we take what the value two log 10 to the power of uh, thousand that is equal to three okay so then if we plot this uh, log value we are getting log t okay log t log 10 to the power of t that is equal one two 1, 2 and the 3 ok then at the same time at the same time we can plot without taking the log t we are taking the scale only we are taking the scale here the time axis uh, t axis but instead of 1 we are putting graph is scale to a this to, to take the log scale so that means we are putting the 10 in here. Here it is 100. Here it is 1000. Okay. That means the graph is already having the log scale. Okay. So then uh, if we reading a certain value, if we reading a certain value, that means the t is equal, uh, let's take uh, t is equal 100 certain value we are take, we are going to take. That means for the log is uh, log, according to the log graph we are getting this kind of point according to the uh, t graph we are getting this kind of point 
the same same graph you are obtaining but only thing is only thing is this is scale is uh, embedded into the uh, scale of the graph that means log e scale is embedded to the scale of the graph so then we can directly plot t against the v without plotting log t against the log v so then we can easily read data from the graph okay when using the log e scale graph we can easily read from the data from the graph there is uh, there is advantage when using the log e scale graph i think the you may have family with that one this is the this is that kind of graph log e scale log e scale graph so then uh, directly the parameter value is we can read from the graph so then uh, based on this data we have to determine the two life equation for the cutting tool material then the, these uh, data plots are given so then i am going to use this uh, data plot okay we can directly uh, use that data plot to calculate the two life equation v t n is equal c v t n is equal c here i am going to use the first uh, data plot 160 5 into n is equal to c. Uh, at the same time, I am going to use another plot. Uh, this one, 100 into 41 into n is equal to c. Here we are having the two equations. Two equations. Let's take uh, one. Let's take the two. I am going to equate one and two because the c is a common term. So one equating to two, we are getting this value. One hundred sixty five into n is equal to one hundred forty one into n. So then uh, we can easily simplify this equation. Uh, let's take the ln. Ln 160 plus n into ln 5 ln 100 plus n into ln 41 okay so what are the values uh, 5.0752 i have already calculated these values so 1.6094 n is equal to 4.6052 plus 3.7136 into n. So then uh, we can easily find the n. We can easily find the n that is equal to 0.223. That is the n value we are getting. So then. Uh, by substituting this equation one of this one of this equation we can easily calculate the c value also so i am going to use this equation to find the uh, c value 160 into n uh, sorry uh, 5 into n 0.223 is equal to c then if we calculate the c value that is equal to 229 to So then, the final equation we can write the Taylor's two life equation based on this experimental data. We can write the two life equation V T N zero point two two three is equal to two two nine. This is the Taylor's two life equation for this experiment. Okay.